my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for your support i really appreciate you much god bless you but if you're new here hello hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video so dear friends in our today's video i'm going to be sharing with you the facts about dating black women yes today we are going to be talking about black queens <laughs> so if you're a man interested in dating or marrying a black woman this video is perfect for you because when you finish watching it you will learn a lot of things that you didn't know about black women you are going to get more reasons to why you should marry a black woman <laughs> and guys i would like to give a disclaimer this video does not intend to offend anyone or offend women from other races make them look unmarable or bad no 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 guys i'm not here to do that i am just here guys for us to have fun learn new things about black women fact number one about dating a black woman or if you're interested in marrying a black woman then you should know this black women really knows how to love and when a black woman falls in love with you she will love you for real there is not going to be any other man in her life she's going to respect you she's going to give you the all attention that you want she's going to take care of you she's going to make sure that you are happy with her so please don't take advantage of that or if you're in a relationship with a black woman and she has told you that she loves you don't doubt it at all be rest assured that she really loves you because black women really knows how to love fact number two about dating black women or if you're interested in marrying a black woman then you should know that black women are very very active in bed <laughs> And here I'm going to talk more of black African women in some African countries guys girls when they reach the teenage age I think I've talked of this in one of my videos they are taught on how to handle a man in bed everything <laughs> so if you come across such a black African lady who has been taught from her teenage age on how to handle a man I tell you things are going to be very spicy <laughs> black women are very active they are very energetic when it comes to bed matters it is so hard to find a black woman who is lazy in bed who will just stay like this like a piece of wood oh no, no, no. it's so rare so be rest assured that when you date a black african woman or if you marry that black african woman in bed things are going to be very very spicy <laughs> so guys i've talked of how black women can be so good in bed can make things very spicy but no matter how much we can make things spicy <laughs> there is one thing that a black african woman especially won't accept to do in bed yes and it is if you ask you know <laughs> the back door she will never accept <laughs> most of black african women will never accept that because it's not in our culture to give the back door <laughs> it's not in our culture so when she says no don't be like you don't love me enough don't be like you are so strange don't take it like oh my god it's a tragedy <laughs> not at all <laughs> we are like that it's not our culture it's not <laughs> so you will have to understand and give up on that never force her to do that or when she tells you then don't get surprised and think that she is pretending it's true guys especially in africa that is not our culture yes <laughs> i've been hearing a lot of stories guys about this people fighting even online dating apps because men are asking for the back door 
<laughs> and when the lady says no, the guy is like, you are so strange. It's so normal to us, especially you white men have been asking a lot about the back door. To black African women, it's not our culture. But again, if you find a black African woman or a black woman who accepts that, then that's okay. People have got exposure and all that. Fact number three about dating a black woman or if you plan to marry a black woman, then you know that divorce is not the first solution when problems arises in marriage. Yes, with a black woman, here I'm going to talk again more on black African women. The way we grew up or the way these black women grew up, <laughs> When problems arises in marriage, you seek for a solution. So if you got married, let's take an example in the church, when problems arises, you are going to go to the church, seek help from the pastors so that the pastors can make you reconcile, solve that problem. Or you go to the elders, family members, the elders, <laughs> sit down together and discuss your problem make sure that they solve it and make sure that you reconcile and save your marriage so i imagine you are a white man and maybe you marry this black woman <laughs> go live in australia or live in canada live in europe <laughs> and problems arises don't worry at all she's not going to run away she's not going to tell you i want a divorce immediately not at all she's going to try her best to solve whatever problem it is because we were not told to ask for a divorce immediately when problems arises in marriage not at all <laughs> we tolerate a lot and i've been seeing these guys especially there is this couple that broke up recently and it was all over the internet and some people were blaming this black african lady <laughs> some were blaming the guy but what i tell you guys even if these people were showing like perfection on social media you know that the lady played a biggest part because with black african women guys we are told to endure we are told to so maybe this lady was showing too much perfection like everything is well but maybe backstage she was fighting so hard to make her marriage work <laughs> we don't know what goes on behind closed doors but what i'm telling you maybe this lady was trying so hard to make her marriage work because that is how we are told so if you plan to date a black woman and later on get married to her be rest assured that she won't ask you for a divorce when problems arises she will sit down with you solve that problem and another thing you need to know about black women is that we are so understanding <laughs> yes i'm saying we because i am a black woman guys <laughs> yeah so we are very very understanding so with a black woman you will live a stress-free life <laughs> fact number four about dating a black woman and maybe you plan to marry her in the future you should know that black women never runs away when a man goes broke I know some of you will come and say it's not true because everyone has got different character that's true guys everyone is different but what I'm very sure about black women is that black women are hustlers yes so if you go down life is up and down so when you are on your down moments this lady will not ask a divorce just because you go broke not at all she will stick with you she is going to work so hard and make sure that the family keeps on going because black women are hustlers guys we are hustlers <laughs> fact number five about dating a black woman or if you plan to marry a black woman then you should know that 
when it comes to the kitchen matters black women are the best <laughs> we know how to cook this is because as growing up especially in africa if you are a man most african men don't know how to cook most not all but ladies knows how to cook because they are taught as in growing up on how to cook when your mother is cooking you'll be there with her learning on how to cook so when you grow up you master the kitchen that is why black women knows how to cook it is very rare to find a black woman who doesn't know how to cook <laughs> very very rare and black women cooks for their husbands also when it comes to food if you plan to date a black woman or marry a black woman be ready to eat spiced food <laughs> most of our foods we add spices so be ready to eat spiced foods if yummy one and even if this black woman is from africa or is from jamaica or from dominican republic or from haiti the food is going to be spicy <laughs> when she cooks chicken she's going to marinate it and then cook it when she cooks fish she's going to marinate it and cook it <laughs> yeah so sometimes when i don't cook the spiced chicken or spiced fish i just cook it the italian way whereby you add rosemary black pepper salt that's it <laughs> fish is ready <laughs> you cook it and it's ready the italian way in my country where i come from we never cook fish without marinating it or adding some spices even if you're going to be boiling it you'll add a little bit of garlic a little bit of lemon a little bit of ginger but never a plain fish be ready to eat spiced food when you date or marry a black woman <laughs> fact number six about dating a black woman or if you plan to marry a black woman then be ready to hear something like bride price or dowry especially if this lady is from africa because <laughs> bride price is very important to african culture yes <laughs> and it's not that you are buying her no because you might be told to pay some amount of money as a bride price you might be told to bring livestock like cows goats <laughs> hens <laughs> yes or you might be told to buy a car for your father-in-law <laughs> oh my god don't get surprised because that is the culture to african culture or to the african society who believes in bride price that you should pay for bride price for their daughter it's like you are thanking the parents for raising that lady for raising your wife your beautiful wife <laughs> so you are thanking them for the good work for the hard work they have done <laughs> that is why like in kenya if a lady is well educated the parents took this lady to school then you are going to pay more higher bride price <laughs> to the family they spent a lot as in educating the lady they spent a lot as in raising the girl and no matter how much amount you pay to this family you will never be able to buy their daughter so it is just a part of thank you just a little bit part of thank you so i don't think that you should take it a negative way but again not all black african families but majority guys of black african families they believe in bride price so you will have to come into an agreement of how you will you know handle that though guys if you date a black woman maybe from jamaica you will not hear anything about bride price and as the research tells me that in jamaica in the past days 
it's the girl's side that you used to pay for their wedding <laughs> but the dresses of the groom he buys it by himself but right now everything has changed if the couple is well established they've got money a lady is working and a man is working then they take care of the marriage costs by themselves not the girl's side like it was before something that i found out about marriage or wedding in jamaica <laughs> so there is this culture that they used to do but right now it's not there i'm told it's not so common only in the villages that when you're in the wedding you know the wedding party there is a, you know there is cutting the cake and you give it to your husband for example in my country you can use these ways you cut your cake put it here on the mouth and you give the <laughs> the groom to bite a bit on the cake <laughs> so you have shared the cake right or you use the fork and feed the groom but in jamaica i'm told that there was this culture whereby a man is supposed to take the cake chew it engulf it and then feed the bride like a baby <laughs> <laughs> it's called bird feeding birds feeding something like that birds not bad birds birds feeding <laughs> so your husband will feed you like a baby the cake that he has put it in his mouth already <laughs> But I'm told that was done in the past and it is still there if you have a wedding in Jamaica in the village. If it is in the city, that one does not exist anymore. But that was so funny guys to know. <laughs> so if you date a black woman and maybe this black woman is black African origin, <laughs> be ready to hear something like bride price and don't be surprised i've told you <laughs> but seven about dating a black woman or if you plan to marry a black woman then you should know that black women are so lively full of life and guys you can hear that even in our music have you ever listened to jamaican music have you ever listened to south african music have you ever listened to tanzanian music the vibe guys the vibe nigerian music it's so so good <laughs> so black women are so lively they are full of life they like to party because that is the kind of the lifestyle that we have in most of the countries where black people come from or where black women come from <laughs> yes it's full of life it's partying and that is why black women are so lively so if you date or marry a black woman then you know that you are going to be lively too just like your black girlfriend or your black wife <laughs> Fact number eight about dating a black woman or if you plan to marry a black woman and I imagine here you are a white man and this black woman let's imagine she is a black African woman <laughs> then be rest assured that she is going to be loving photos because most black women likes taking photos <laughs> something that i have not seen so much in white women especially white italian women i've not seen that very much <laughs> so i've been imagining maybe it's also about other white women from other countries they don't like like taking photos but for us black women most of black women likes photos so if you get married to a black woman or if you start dating a black woman then be rest assured that she will be asking you most of the times to take her photos <laughs> and sometimes you might even enter into a fight because you have to take good photos <laughs> story of my life <laughs> so sometimes when i go out like to take photos with my husband he takes a lot of photos 
and when I look at them, oh my god, it's not what I expected. So I tell him to repeat. He can repeat and repeat and be complaining. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired, but they look good. I'm like, no, there's not enough light. <laughs> take more. <laughs> or sometimes we take photos of the things that for you will look very normal, but for us, it's a big deal. Like going on a dinner date and, you know, take photos of the food. <laughs> or you seated in the restaurant looking pretty. <laughs> To white men, guys, if you're going to date a white man or if you are a white man, you will find yourself in this situation if you date a black woman. <laughs> photos, photo time. <laughs> Cause black women likes photos, majority guys. If you ask these interracial couples <laughs> about this, they are going to tell you it's true. <laughs> Their wives likes photos. So be ready to be a cameraman. <laughs> All in the name of love. Yes, black women likes taking photos. We are a bit different if I differentiate a black woman and a white woman but this doesn't mean that all white women don't like taking photos or they don't look good not at all exist white women that really loves taking photos just like us black women yes <laughs> and also it's not that all black women enjoys taking photos or they pack a lot when they go on a vacation no some are just you know minimalist they call them <laughs> yeah and they're black yes so i'm just trying to tell you this so that when you find yourself in this kind of a situation as a man who is not a black man maybe you're a white man you don't get surprised you're like oh i watched bella's video she was talking about this so it's okay it's normal <laughs> yeah <laughs> Number nine and the last one about dating a black woman or if you want to marry a black woman of course I know if you have that interest already of marrying a black woman it's our skin we are so beautiful beautiful skin again I don't mean that other races have got a bad skin not at all I'm just talking about black women we have got a very beautiful skin most white men that have got married two black women if you ask them what they adore most on their ladies they will tell you it's their skin because they've got a very beautiful soft skin unique one <laughs> yes so our hair can appear very strange to you because we always change <laughs> for example if you follow me here on youtube sometimes you see me with long hair sometimes you see me with colored hair sometimes you see me like this my natural hair <laughs> it's because our hair changes a lot we change hairstyles <laughs> we change hairstyles and it's because we're black women <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, so we'll put on braids we'll put on extensions we'll put on you know natural hair <laughs> yes we will change a lot when it comes to hair yes but every time we change the hairstyle we will always look beautiful <laughs> So dear friends, I really hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something about black women and if you had an idea of dating or marrying a black woman, now you have the reasons to do so <laughs> from this video, yes. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too, they are so good comment below what you think about this video if you are a black woman and maybe there are some other facts that I forgot <laughs> please write them down in the comment section I'll be happy to read that comment subscribe please if you have not subscribed yet I love you so much you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao Mwah.